You definitely don't need to get a whole set of drill bits, but I've been overdue for getting a decent set. Um, and I also didn't have the half inch one. So all in all, in total, I paid about $190 for the wood and the fasteners. which might seem kind of expensive, but if you were gonna buy a chassis dolly, for example, or if you're gonna buy um, a uh, high lift or something like that, that would make it easier to work on the bottom, then you'd be spending, you know, eight, $900 or even more than that, maybe $1,500. So I think this is a pretty good, um, Pretty good option for somebody who's doing it in their garage like this and wants to save a little bit of money. It's plenty strong and if you have a little bit of uh, fabrication skills then it shouldn't be too big of an issue for you to accomplish. So, Okay so the idea is to take two two by fours, screw them together, and then mount them to the front and rear bumpers like this. Um, going to drill six holes in these and I'm going to use these four inch screws right here to hold them into the bumper um, and then on one side I'm going to take the uh, three quarter inch birch plywood and I'm going to round one corner of it and I'm going to build a tip over jig um, so that I can take the car flip it on its side like so and then refinish the underside of the car. All right, what's the worst that can happen? Let's get into it. Right off the bat, the first thing I noticed with this rear bumper right here is this little piece that sticks out right here. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be shoring it up. I'm gonna put a, um, a shim in right here so that it's flat with this. And then I'm gonna be doing two two by fours stacked on top of each other. I noticed this uh, center point right here in the middle of the car. So I took this first two by four and I've measured it at 84 inches in length right here. Found the center point in the board. And that's where I'm gonna start. Okay, so the method in which I cut these two uh, shim boards, I'm not gonna include in the video, um, but maybe you can assume. Definitely not the safest way to do this. So I do not recommend, but you gotta do what you gotta do.
My Harbor Freight jigsaw broke. Can you believe that? Now we're gonna have to improvise. Hopefully I don't have to tell you that this is not advice. why I'm not a carpenter because as you can see here I forgot that I needed to put the freaking plyboard plyboard plywood um, flush up against right here so I uh, will actually be taking this piece and putting it on the back side it'll fit right there just fine <laughs> Now, in order to cut this angle here on the plywood, um, I was gonna use my jigsaw, but I'm not sure what the problem is on that. Usually I'm a matchy-matchy kind of OTD boy, which is why I have all Milwaukee stuff, but M18 version of the jigsaw was 200 and something dollars. And I just figured that getting a cordless version would probably be better. And they had this Ryobi for 80 bucks. So, in my opinion, you can't beat that. So, let's see how it does. looking at this and I'm thinking um, this is probably gonna be just fine but I do have some extra wood laying around so I think I might trim this a little bit just to give it a little bit of extra strength I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put it but that's what I'm thinking right now so we'll see
of measure twice, cut once. So as you can see here, that's right. That's not. <laughs> this should be flip flop that way so that it's flush against this. and one, two, three sixteenths to the middle of that dot. Come down here to this one. And we're looking at 32, one, two, three sixteenths to the middle of the dot. Looks pretty good to me. These little markers that I painted through the back side of the bumper, I don't think that they are exactly in the middle here. In fact, if you look, this board's three and a half inches wide, and it looks like it's closer to two inches there. So I'm gonna cut the distance to an inch and three quarters. That should be exactly half of the board. Measure a line across, draw a line through the middle, cross it, and then that should land me perfectly dead center in the middle of the board. Trying to make sure this thing's level. to the front bumper here and those four holes um, I need to go actually back to Home Depot and get some washers because I don't know how to count but we'll get the washers and we'll bolt this up and then we'll build the legs and we'll cut this other piece of birch here and hopefully by the end of tomorrow or maybe Saturday we will have two sides.
the M18, not the M12. Yo, it's John here, not on my GoPro, not on my channel at all. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's this guy's channel, Nathan's channel. We're gonna flip a freaking Honda today and it's gonna be the most amazing thing ever. It's gonna sit back and forth, back and forth, like a freaking riot in downtown Seattle, dude. We're gonna light that shit on fire, bro. It's gonna be amazing. Pick these guys up at the local vape shop. 
Needed some stuff. muscle. This is a local vape shop crew. Uh, hey, we're gonna I had be... that tire there to protect the uh, and the buffer. If this thing falls, then it's not gonna matter if there's a buffer. It's not gonna fall though. We're gonna get this done. Let's try. Let's just go very slowly. Oh, very slowly. Let's just let's just oh. move. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't like this. Well, don't do that. <laughs> if, it does, if it does start to go, don't try to save it. Just back off. Okay. Jump up on the thing. You know what? Um, I just want to go just a tiny bit first. So let's see. Ready? Two. Watch your feet end up. Fuck that dude, it's got a lot of play. Okay, okay, let's go back down, slow. What I'm worried about is we start moving it and it goes that way. Yeah, or it goes that. that way. You know, uh, what kind of makes me mad about the way that I think is this is way stronger than any of the ones that I've seen built on YouTube. Yeah. Or, you know, as far as stability, you know, putting up 45 degree boards and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and they seem to not give a fuck when they, when they tilt it, but I'm worried that it's gonna break. It looks solid. I yeah, mean, like, well, I, I, I felt pretty good. to be honest, it looks extremely solid. Are you sure? The only oh, part that, that doesn't look solid is this beam, which doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> you got it halfway. Bring it up halfway one more time, and then if you really don't feel like it's going to uh, keep, okay. Let's then... go even slower than last time. Yeah. Slowly. Not let it fall because that's a lot of momentum going that way. You got it? Are you pulling? No, I'm pushing. Okay, pull. Pull? Well, I'm. <laughs> Just don't let it like fall. Is that board bending over there? No. No. Okay. I'm going inside. That was just the garage. I'm getting a lot of weight over here. Okay. It's solid. <laughs> Holy fuck. It's on. It's down. Yeah. It's <laughs> Holy shit. Holy fuck. <laughs> Dude, that feels, that feels really sturdy too. <laughs> that picture of Ryan what the way. fuck? Holy shit. Dude, good job. Oh. <laughs> and then the whole thing crashes. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll put a hit marker on your face when you <laughs> Dude, that would be fucking sad. Dude, those hit markers kill me. They gotta be realistic, she's gotta see it. It took a while. What do you think? You're safe. Thinking I don't wanna be on the table. <laughs> what? Oh, come on. <laughs> don't step over there. There's so, no, I'm not um, I mean, it being sideways like this is no different than it being flat. Actually, it should probably be stronger like this, right? Because it's not on these, it's on a straight board, straight up in the air, right? That's, that's my logic. 